have another little haul for you. I'm pretty excited to show you just random stuff I've been picking up here and there. Um, one yard sale, a couple things from an antique mall, and then mostly everything else is from Goodwill. I did finally get my Halloween decorations put up. It took me forever this year. I don't know what was wrong with me, but I did get everything put up yesterday, so I'm really excited about that. Um, and I have a Halloween t-shirt on, another vintage 90s Halloween t-shirt. Um, I love this spooky season. All right, so I am going to, I'll start with things I picked up at Goodwill, I guess. I don't know, sometimes it's kind of fun to show everything as I found it. So like everything I found at the store, everything I found at that store, but then I can never remember what's what and that's a problem. Um, okay, so um, the first thing is this, it says the Kitchen Madonna. Um, it is made by, it says Sammy Rowe. I've actually never heard of that before. Um, it's definitely vintage, so it has a little cross, and it has, it kind of looks like the, the Mother Mary, but I don't know, and a little kiddo, and they're in front of the hearth, and then there's a little spot to hang it in your kitchen, and it did at one point say the Kitchen Madonna. You can still kind of um, make it out at the bottom, but it's just kind of charming. It was $2.99 and then I got my 25% off discount. So I did get this for Etsy. Um, I'm not sure. It, I don't think it's going to go for very much, but I just thought it was really charming um, to hang in a, in a kitchen. So I was like, oh, I'll rescue that. It just seemed really sweet. So I grabbed that. Then the next thing I grabbed are <laughs> A pair of these hilarious cat mugs. Um, how funny are these guys? So they're vintage, obviously. Um, I just thought they were really cute. We've actually been doing okay with mugs lately. I've been selling out most of my mug inventory that I have listed on Etsy. I have a ton of mugs in my own personal collection that I need to let go of. So I was thinking of maybe doing like a paring down my mug um, collection video with you guys at some point. We'll see. But anyway, I sometimes try to steer clear of mugs because, um, they don't, they don't have like a huge profit value, huge profit margin, but these guys are too cute and people really love cats and I love that they were a pair. So they came home with me. They were a dollar each. Um, and then I got them for, I actually got those on ha a half price day. So they were 50 cents each. And I think actually I got this lady on a half price day as well. So she was, instead of $3, she was a dollar 50. Um, I didn't get too much at Goodwill that day because it was a half price day so you know how that goes a lot of stuff is pretty picked over but the other thing I found is this really cool um, little wall plaque so it has a little string so you hang it and it's a German pointer and I actually have um, another one I think a red setter in my Etsy shop so I think I'm gonna take that down and sell them together as a set I just think it's so cool. Like even if you never have had a German pointer before in your life, like it still just like looks really retro and neat and would be really cool like hanging on the wall. I don't know. So I'm hoping that the pair will go to a good home and I don't know, I just thought they were cool. So, and he was um, $1.99 so I paid a dollar for him. So that was not a bad day at all. I got a few things which was very nice. Um, let's see, what else can I show you? Um, one item Jordan actually found for me when he was out thrifting. Every once in a while, he goes by himself. Um, I love vintage, guys. So when I get birthday and Christmas presents, like that's pretty much what I want is vintage stuff. So a lot of the time he'll just kind of go on his own and see if he can find 
some stuff just like to squirrel out away for my birthday and for Christmas. But my birthday is coming up. Um, it's on October 22nd. So I'm pretty excited about that. I'm not really sure what we're going to do, but it'll be fun. So anyway, he found me um, this little purse. It's super beat up, but I'm actually kind of okay with that. It's There's just something really cool about it. Definitely my favorite part is the clasp. I just think that's gorgeous. Um, and then obviously all the tooled leather is really stunning too. The sides are pretty chewed up, um, but it's still closed enough that you don't have to worry about your things falling out. And the inside looks like that. So it's definitely very vintage. I just loved it. I don't know, I just thought it was so charming. I don't think this is something I could really sell. I mean, maybe, but I don't think there would be, we would really get hardly anything for it because it's in really rough shape, but I just loved it for me as like a little clutch. So I'll probably just keep this in my collection. Um, maybe I'll list it at some point, I'm not really sure, but. I thought that was really cool and he got it for a dollar because it's it's pretty rough <laughs> um okay then I went to I stopped at a Goodwill with a few of my friends on our way to an antique mall um what's funny is I got more stuff at Goodwill than I did at the actual antique mall but that's just because when I go to antique malls it's like if you sell vintage yourself you see a lot of stuff that you've either sold yourself, you've seen at Goodwill, um, and then obviously you don't wanna pay like full retail price for it. I'm also really, really picky about like what I want for my home. So in my area, there's not a lot of things that are necessarily my style, which is why I don't have an antique booth in the area because I don't think my stuff would really do very well here. Um, so sometimes I do struggle a lot with thrifting like where I live to find things that are truly me. I'm really really into like nature and forest animals and that's kind of hard to find like in a tropical area. So eh, I take what I can get. Um, so I first thing I picked up is this really tall vase. It is milk glass and as a reseller, I almost never ever pick up milk glass unless it's um, unless it's Fenton. But this is, I don't know, I just thought it was kind of cool. Um, I've never seen this like peacock feather type of marking and I liked how tall it was. I thought that was kind of neat. I don't know. I looked online for it when I got it home, but I could not find um, a similar one. So I'm going to have to do more research. If you know anything about this though, please tell me because I would love to know. And I am going to list this, so I'm not entirely sure how to list it, but this was $2.99. Um, and then that was just, I got another 25% off. Um, and then the other thing I found that is pretty dusty, so I need to clean it up, is this little bowl of fruit. I just thought this was so cool. Um, it says that it's made in Italy. <clears throat> and what I really love about it is it's in perfect condition. So a lot of the time, like when you find stuff like this, um, it's... I'm like, wait, is it in perfect condition? But it is, it's just really dirty. Um, it's chipped or broken or repaired. And I just thought this was really cool. I love the cherries. I love the little woven basket. I just thought it was really sweet. So this was $5, um, but I got 25% off on that. And I really think that this will sell on Etsy. I think somebody will love this. So I was excited to find that piece. I think it will find a very nice home. Um, okay, then I picked up a few things for me. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to sell them or if I'm just going to keep them. Um, so my hair is crazy today, guys. So I picked up a couple pieces of studio pottery. I just actually mostly loved the way the blues and the greens played off each other. I just thought they were so pretty. This one is more skillfully done, um, and it is actually true stoneware. Um, I loved the blue. I just thought it was so pretty. 
And then as you can see, it's stoneware. It is signed, which is really nice and just very pretty. The other one is a lot more of an amateur piece um, and it's just a regular clay. But I, I, I don't know, I liked the way they looked together and I enjoy this green very much. Um, it's a little bit more clumsy. It's a little more thick. It is signed on the bottom, but I think it's probably a beginner piece, but some of the glaze is actually really cool on it. And I don't know, I just, again, like I said, the blue and the green together just looks really pretty to me. So um, I think this would sell. I don't think this would sell, um, but I just picked them up because I thought they were sweet and I like bowls. I, I use bowls a lot all day. Um, when I'm at home, I just like to like put little like snacks or dips and stuff in, in bowls like this. So, um, I just kind of picked it up. They were $2.99 each and then 25% off. So a little bit overpriced. I think this probably should have been a dollar, but whatever. This one is definitely worth $3 to me. So very pretty. I've been definitely getting into pottery. I'm not sure. Like I, it's definitely a dream one day to redo our kitchen and I'm like, do I want to do an open shelving type of thing? I don't want it to look too cluttered. And I am infamous for my clutter. Even like my decorations in my china cabinet are massive clutter. But luckily my china cabinet keeps everything sort of contained, keeps the clutter together. So I do worry a little bit if I do an open cabinet like concept that it's just going to look really cluttered and not as cool as other people make it look. But I don't know. I have been just kind of squirreling away pottery here and there um, with that in mind. So I don't know. I guess that's kind of a hoarder mentality to just like save things. What if? Because it'll probably be five or 10 years before we redo our kitchen. But I don't know. Pottery is cool. Okay. Okay. Um, all right. So I'll show you the couple of things I got at the antique mall. Um, I literally bought four things. Okay, so, um, the first thing, <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm a mess, you guys. I have so many mugs, and if I do that mug video, you guys are going to be a little bit appalled because it's, it's bad. So, of course, when I went to two giant antique malls, I came home with not one, but two mugs awesome. I just, I don't know. Um, I gravitate towards them. They're a pretty good, fair price and antique malls are expensive. I was definitely on the lookout for, um, like antique taxidermy. I know that's kind of weird, but that's what I was looking for. And that, that, that was not to be had. So that's okay. Um, the first one, thing I got for myself is this little, um, Boy Scout, owl mug i have a couple maybe yeah probably a couple so two other um boy scout mugs i like these vintage um ceramic mugs with the gold rim on the top they're just kind of very retro um and of course i loved the owl so i love all my boy scout mugs whenever i find them at a thrift i always pick them up so i've never seen one with a cute little owl so he is very special um and it says south florida scouting Camp Seminole. So very excited to, to have him. Um, don't need him at all, but sometimes it's hard to when you're like at a antique mall, you're like, I want to buy something. Like I don't want to leave without anything, but you know, the next thing, which I had to go get up to grab because I totally forgot is, um, this beer sign. So I put my, my coffee in it this morning and I have also had a, um, a beer in it too, since I got it home. You know gotta break it in but today I put some coffee in it it is a nice big size because you know how vintage mugs like don't hold a lot of coffee so sometimes you just need a little bit more so this guy's perfect but um, you guys probably know I love bunnies so I could not resist I loved the bunny handle um, the scene is pretty weird um, I, I guess it's like kind of a fox hunting scene I'm I guess that's where the bunny comes in but it's pretty cool, um, very retro. It looks like it would be a souvenir piece, but it doesn't have any places on it at all. So I was just super stoked to find this. Um, and yeah, drinking my coffee. Perfect. 
Okay. Um, let's try to put this somewhere where I won't spill it. All right, and then the last thing, or no, I got two other things. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. The next thing I got is this little um, cloisonne bowl. So, oh, so my mugs were, I think, like $8 each. So not super cheap, but, you know, antique mall. What are you going to do? Um, I got this little cloisonne bowl. So you guys know I collect cloisonne. Um, I bought it because I loved the birds. It's not a very old one. Um, and I was a little bit kicking myself after I bought it because I've been trying to pick up the older ones and not the newer ones. Um, but it's still so pretty with the, you know, the birds and all the flowers and it's in really great condition. Um, and I thought it would be a nice little catch all for jewelry and things. Um, Blue's not really like my color. I'm more like into like fall tones, but I don't know. I just thought it was really cool. I paid $16 for it. So I felt like that was a pretty good price for cloisonne. I think on Etsy, this would be probably closer to like 25 to 35. Um, and then also you would have to pay shipping. So I did pick this up, but I think it was probably a little bit because I just wanted to buy something. <laughs> I don't know, guys. Um, so then I had found those three things. Um, and then right as we were walking out, I noticed a booth had a couple little Namaji pieces. So I found this little guy. I predominantly collect the orange and brown ones. Cause like I said, I'm not really as much of a blue person, although I do really like green. Um, it's not that I don't like it. It's just like, you know how you just gravitate towards certain colors more, I guess, because sometimes it's like the colors I like to wear. So the same colors I like that like match my skin tone are the same colors I use in my house. I don't know if that's weird, but it's kind of what I do. Um, so anyway, long story short, I picked up this little guy. He was $8. Um, he doesn't really match my collection, but he is Namaji, which is cool. Um, and I don't know. I don't think it really matters like what colors you collect. All of them are really pretty. So I was happy to have him. Um, and I felt like $8 wasn't a terrible price. Um, the, all the rest of them that I've thrifted have been like, you know, three to five. And then I think I've picked up a couple at another antique mall for like pretty cheap. So I haven't, I haven't gone too crazy with my purchases. Um, okay. So a couple weeks ago, we got to finally see my parents. I haven't seen them in forever because of coronavirus. And I just like didn't want to get them sick. Um, I work at a school. So if there's anybody that's going to get anybody sick, it's probably me because um, I'm with kids 24 seven. I love it. But you know, my parents are older and I just, I want to be respectful of them. So I finally got to see them um, and we drove about an hour south and we went to a Goodwill there. So we usually go to church with my parents on Sundays at, um, like we go down south um, about an hour to go to church. And then a lot of the time I hit some Goodwills on my way back, which is totally fun. But we haven't been able to go to in-person church in forever and I haven't been able to see them in forever. So it's been kind of a weird, very weird last few months. So anyway, I finally went, my long, long, long story is I finally got to go to a Goodwill I haven't been to in a really long time. So I didn't pick up much, um, but I picked up a few Mary Mushroom um, canisters. They're still all like shrink wrapped, but I was like, eh, I'm probably going to just leave them in this until I'm ready to photograph them. I have a whole set of my own that I think I'm ready to let go of because I'm sort of like going in a different direction. I went through like a really intense like 70s kitsch like owl mushroom everything phase and um, now I think I'm like kind of moving out of it a little bit. Not totally, but a little bit. So I know that these are very popular on Etsy. So I picked up these two and I'll probably um, sell my other set too whenever I get around to it. The thought of shipping it just horrifies me. 
Um, I have shipped one other canister set and it made it there safely. So hopefully these will make it there safely if I list them. Okay, so the other thing I found at first, I was like dying. It was like one of the coolest things I've ever found. But then I took the shrink wrap off and I realized that it has a pretty significant repair. So you know how that is when things have been repaired, they're really not worth as much, but what can you do? Um, so this is my very first piece of um, Majolica that I have ever found. Um, it is, I actually found the same one online. So it is by a fellow named Bromley, I believe. Um, and it's dating, it dates between like 1830 and 1880, which is pretty phenomenal. Um, it has a little mushroom um, and it's, it's beautiful. I really, I don't know if I could sell this just because I would be afraid of it making it there. It's also not in perfect condition by any means. So the biggest problem is this little mushroom, um, mushroom, no, acorn, um, has been repaired multiple times. So you can probably even see in the video that it has been glued like a million times over the years. So that is a, a shame. Um, it really broke my heart, but I, it is currently glued. So that is that. And then, um, on the inside, you can see this guy's got some age. Somebody has been using it. It does have a few little like chips and cracks and things around the edge. So again, not in perfect condition. Um, but it was $5 and then I got my 25% off. So yeah, probably one of the one of the oldest pieces I think I've ever found. Um, so that was really exciting. And it, I mean, it, let's be honest, it is absolutely beautiful. Um, unfortunately though, because it has the repair, I really don't know what it would be worth. Um, probably not that much, but whatever. It's beautiful. Say la vie. Never found one of those in the in the wild before. I've only seen them at antique mall. So that was that was cool in and of itself. Okay, all right, so, oh, 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 this is kind of fun. Um, maybe like four or five hauls ago, I went to that really cool yard sale. So if you have watched any of my past videos, you may have seen that where I went to um, a really neat yard sale. Two women were um, selling the estate of their mom. They were keeping the house and I, I showed a little bit of the house in my video. It's the coolest house ever. I was obsessed with it. And their mom and I are definitely kindred spirits because she had so much stuff that I loved. So they had a big yard sale um, and I bought a bunch of stuff. I actually wish I would have bought more now that I think about it. I meant to go back and I just never did. And I'm like kicking myself because she had a lot more stuff I wanted, but whatever. Um, but they told me when they had that, uh, that yard sale, they were going to have another yard sale. And I was like, awesome. Let me know. But then they forgot and they never let me know. But again, <laughs> my friend's mom lives on the same street. So she was like, you got to go back. So I went back. Um, I didn't even go back on the first day. I went back on the second day, but they said I didn't really miss much. So that is good. Um, they did not have as much cool stuff out this time. But I still got some neat stuff. So I will show you what I got if I can reach it. Um, okay. So the first thing I got, I'm not going to lie, they're not 100% um, my style. But they are really cool. Um, so I found a set of these Cameo Creations. So they are from the 40s. Um, which is pretty rad. They are, let's see, I believe they're made in the U.S., but I could be wrong. Um, and they're pretty kitschy, like can't lie. But I found a set of four of them. So I thought that was pretty cool to have a set of four. I thought they might look really neat together. Um, and all of the little cameos are different. And also, like, look how cool that sticker is. I mean, that is so rad. So I was happy to find um, those guys. This is something that probably in years past I would have 
passed up but finding them for like pretty inexpensive at a yard sale i was like i'll give it a try um maybe somebody would love these i hope that they will so i got those obviously to sell then the next thing i got um i did also get to sell but like if it doesn't sell that's okay because it's really really cute um It's this vintage clock. It's cruel little flowers um, and it's just so pretty. I actually have another one too that is also not listed and they would look so cute together. So I'm like, ooh, do I save it and put it in like our little guest room that we're working on right now that's gonna be super kitsch? I don't know. Um, the girl said that this was like their mom's favorite clock. She really loved it. So I'm not really sure why they didn't keep it because it's super cool and I haven't tried it, but they did tell me that it still works. So I'm not sure if I believe them or not, but it is pretty easy to repair these. If you need to, you can just buy the little battery pack thing on Amazon. So like annoying, but doable. So um, this was very cute. I was really, really excited to find that at their yard sale. And then I picked up two other things. So the first thing, I'm not sure how I would sell it or if I would sell it, but it's pretty rad. Um, it's this brass owl plant stand. So how cool is that? Um, I'm just obsessed with it. I love owls. I love brass. I love plants. Like it's, it ticks all the boxes for me. Um, I guess I could sell it, but it would be very expensive to ship. Um, how cool is that? So I'm probably going to keep it and just put a plant on it for now. I don't know. <sighs> I'm trying to save up for a new sofa. That's like what I really, really want. So I'm like, do I just sell everything or I don't know. But why is everything so expensive? I, I don't know if it's because I'm a thrifter and I'm like, oh, $3, that's a lot. And then I look at like the price of like a nice like couch and I'm like, never. Okay. <laughs> Trying to find a place where to put this guy. He's very large. Okay. Oh gosh. All right. And then the last thing I got from them is this big giant mamma jamma. So um, I guess that's probably my only problem with the stuff I found from there this time is it's all big. So I'm like, uh, do I buy this? Like, what do I do with it? I, I absolutely love it. Um, I This is so random. I'm sorry, guys. I am like rambling so much this time. But I bought a plant at so Goodwill wasn't open yet because they changed their hours. They're so weird. And there's a Home Depot right next door. So I went and I bought a plant for our new neighbors that just moved in. Actually, they didn't just move in. They moved in like four months ago, but I'm a bad neighbor. So I finally got around to buying them a plant and going over and introducing ourselves. So long story short, I threw, after I bought their plant, I went to Goodwill and this had already been in my car. So I threw their plant in here just to like make sure it didn't knock over and get dirt all over my car. Makes sense. And it looked so cute. It looked so cute. And I was like, okay, I guess I'm keeping this forever. Um, it's super neat. So I don't know, you know, my house is pretty boho. Um, I just worry that it's going to get like obnoxiously overly boho I want it to be eclectic and cool and collected and not just like like a college dorm like tapestries from Urban Outfitters boho do you know what I mean but anyway this guy is really really rad so again I probably can't ship this I mean I could but the cost of shipping it would be astronomical so I'm not really sure if anybody would want to deal with that but if they do, it's awesome. Probably just gonna keep it. So all together, all the stuff that I bought at her, at their yard sale was 15 bucks. So I felt like that was a really fair price. Um, I kind of added everything up in my head and thought about the price that I would wanna pay and my ideal price was $18. So when they said 15, I was like, perfect. That works for me. Okay. Um, then let's see, 
I have everything like stacked on everything, which is a problem when you're trying to show stuff. But what can you do? All right. So then I went to a Goodwill, um, another Goodwill down south when I um, was visiting my parents. We stopped at two. So the other one was pretty busy because it's a Goodwill boutique. So it's like always really, really busy. Um, I find really amazing. Oh, we went, I used to live there, like buy them and I used to find the most amazing stuff. Now I only get to go on Sundays and Sundays are like the worst days for thrifting, but I still found some cute stuff. Um, so I found a set of two of these little brass. They have, um, you can hang them. So they are like wall art, but they're kind of look like ashtrays to me or like little catch all dishes but I would love to hang them. I think they would look so cool. Um, I love that this guy is a snake charmer. Like he's literally singing to the snakes. I mean, how neat is that? And then this guy looks like, oh, this looks like a lady and she's got her little terracotta bowl on her head. She's pretty cool. So those two are really neat. And then I also picked up these two. Um, so this guy's my favorite cause I love his camel. And then this guy is just pretty neat. I didn't even see that it has someone's name on it. So I'll have to look this guy up and see who he is. But these were $2.99 each. Um, and then these were $1.99 each. So, and then I still get my discount there. So I got my 25% off, which is um, great. Okay. Um, and then I got this really weird picture. I don't know what I was thinking. They had they have great art there, like such great art. But they wanted a lot of, I mean, not a lot, but like a painting was 15 bucks. And I'm like, oh, like the margin of, like maybe I would sell it for $45 online. So then like, I'm not really making that big of a profit. And then it's a huge hassle to ship and also a huge hassle to store a whole bunch of paintings. Cause where do you even put a whole bunch of paintings? So long story short, I was kind of annoyed because I wanted to buy a bunch of art and I didn't buy a bunch of art, but I did find one thing. Um, to be honest with you, I am now that I'm looking at it, I don't know how much I pay for it. Because when I found it, it says $3.99 on the back. And I was like, perfect, I'll pay $3.99. But then the sticker, the Goodwill sticker on the front says $9.99. So my guess is I probably paid $9.99. And if I had known that I was paying $9.99, I wouldn't have bought this. But I wasn't paying attention, so it is what it is. You win some, you lose some. That was pretty dumb of me. But I didn't even notice the sticker in the front. So I just like wasn't even thinking. So anyhow, um, it is this really hilarious caricature. Um, which I love. Um, these are pretty popular nowadays too. I, it's got like a resin over it, which I don't love because you can, as you can tell, there's some scratches in it that I'm going to have to try to see if I can buff out. And it also makes it substantially more heavy than it needs to be, but it is dated. Um, it says big Julie, which is pretty funny or jewels. And then, um, it's dated 1966. So for both of those reasons, it's pretty cool. Also look at his mustache. Like, don't you just like love him? I don't know, I really loved him. So I bought him. Hopefully somebody else loves him too because he is very heavy. So someone's gonna have to love him a lot to make him be worth the shipping, but he's cool. So I nabbed that. And then I got a few of these um, placemats. So they had them all together and it was very difficult to look at them. And Goodwill is very stinky for doing that because you can't really tell if things have stains on them. So I'm not really sure what's going to happen as far as resale, but I did think they were really cool, but they do have like a lot of them have stains on them. So Not all of them though, so I don't know. I think I have six. So if I could grab like, if I could find four that aren't too bad, then 
I could sell it as like a set of four and then add the other two in um, if like as a free gift or something. I don't know. But they're pretty cool. I I love stuff like this. I'm going to, you know, they're just simple. I paid $5 and then they were half price. So not terrible. Um, okay. Oh, and one more thing. I got a giant atlas. So, um, what I would like to do is we're working on, um, renovating upstairs. We have one bedroom up there and the other bedroom we're going to use as an office. So, I thought it would be cool to do like floating shelves with a whole bunch of like um, coffee table books. So I thought one of the neat ones would be to do this atlas. So this is the box that it kind of lives in. Um, it's definitely very shabby, but you know, your girl kind of loves that. Um, and I got the whole thing for $2. The guy at Goodwill was like, yeah. He literally, it wasn't priced. And I was like, how much is this? And he was like, mm, I don't really think that a lot of people are going to buy this. It takes kind of a special person to even want this. So I'll give it to you for $2. I was like, I mean, it's kind of a backhanded insult compliment, but I'll take it because I'm that weird girl that wants the giant atlas. Um, what's cool is the original owners kept this in that box. So the box is real shabby, but the actual atlas itself is literally like so perfect. Um, so they took very good care of it. I do always worry with old books about bugs. So when the box was kind of shabby, I was like, Ugh. Um, but it's in really perfect condition. Look at that. How cool. It's like cool. So anyway, I'm excited. It's really heavy, but I don't know. Thought it would look neat in the office. I don't, I really don't know. Look at me like buying all this stuff for myself instead of actually like shopping for the store. Okay. Um, literally let herself out what a little stink and now she's eating my clock get out of here ah she's still gonna get a little clock i'm sorry guys i really don't know how she let herself out of her room but um that's a skill i'm not excited about her having <laughs> <laughs> she is litter trained so she does use her potty but she eats everything she's like a giant termite so that is a problem okay um so the other day I was at I was on my way home from work and um it was I love my job but I was stressed because you know work can just be stressful so sometimes my like way of de-stressing is to just go thrifting so you know how sometimes you go to the thrift store and you just like kind of do a once over and just like really quickly look at everything, grab like the few things that you notice and then leave. Usually that's me because I just don't want to spend 75 years there. Um, but for some reason, I don't know, I was by myself and then I just needed to de-stress. So I literally went through um, Goodwill with like a fine tooth comb. Like I went through everything multiple times. Um, I dug through like the paper and like the weird baskets with all the stationery and stuff you like is always kind of like sticky and weird. Um, so I actually ended up pulling a few things out that I don't think I would have found if I hadn't been like very, very meticulous um, and really looked at everything. Because at first glance, this Goodwill is kind of junky, but then like if you spend a lot of time just sort of like combing through it, you do find cool stuff. So 
I didn't find tons of stuff, but the few things I did find, I was really happy with. Um, so the first thing I found is this little pitcher. So my home is definitely not farmhouse, but I do appreciate it as long as it's actual vintage. I do not like the like reproduction, like Target farmhouse stuff, no offense. I do love Target though, but just not like the fake farmhouse, like fake vintage stuff. I can't, I can't get behind that, but I love finding farmhousey things that are actually true vintage. So this guy is definitely true vintage. Um, it looks like it's chipped, but it's not. It's just kind of roughly painted. Um, the bottom looks like that. And I just, the little chick, little blue chickens are pretty cool. Um, so I was excited to find this because I think one of my farmhouse girls out there will appreciate this. Um, it would look so pretty just in a kitchen. And it was $2.99 less my 25% off discount. Um, I guess I need to stop just saying that I get that discount because it's probably really annoying that I keep repeating myself. So just know if I bought it at Goodwill, I got 25% off on it. Um, the next thing I found that I kind of hemmed and hawed about, I don't know why, because it was only $2.99, um, but I decided to pick it up. Um, is this little light switch cover. I guess the reason why I wasn't sure is because it's a dual one. So I wasn't sure if that is something that like would be useful, but I just thought it was so pretty. I love the little flowers. Um, I love that it's ceramic. It says made in Japan on the back and I just thought it was really pretty. Do you ever also just put stuff in your cart and then it all kind of like goes together and then you just feel like you have to buy it all because it sort of just like jives? Anyone else do that? I definitely do that. So I'm like, oh, well, <laughs> it looks great in my cart. I need it. So picked it up. Um, I'll list this online, although I do really like it and would pr definitely put it in my house. Um, the next thing I found is really random. Um, I found this antique happy birthday card um, postcard. So it is old. Um, cabbage. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry guys she's eating the table um it is really neat it says happy birthday and then it you know it has like the actual um it looks like it looks like it was sent but the stamp has been taken off of it for whatever reason but it's dated 1909 so that's cool um yeah I think um I really like to use old postcards as decoration so like for Halloween, for instance, I have like Halloween postcards um, at Thanksgiving. I put Thanksgiving postcards. I've never thought to do like a happy birthday one, like for like my birthday or like, I guess my husband wouldn't really care. So, you know, whatever for me. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna keep it. I really like it and it made me smile. And also who finds something like this at Goodwill? It's really random. So I found that digging through like the gross paper. So worth it. Okay, sorry about that guys, brief intermission. Okay, so the next thing I found um, is probably, I don't know, just, I'll show you. So it's this little antique picture frame, it's metal. It opens like this. Um, I love the filigree on it and of course the metal, but guys, look at this picture in here. It's a drawing. It's not a print and it's like these two little owls and this hilarious little crow. And the crow has, I don't know what he has in his little foot. It looks like he's got like a, I don't, I really don't know, like a little like glass globe or something. I'm not sure. I couldn't tell you like what this is all about. All I can tell you is I'm obsessed with it. <laughs> it's probably one of the coolest things I've ever found at Goodwill just because of the subject matter is so cute. It's definitely very old, it's handmade. Um, I'm obsessed with owls and I love this metal frame. So this is definitely staying with me. Um, and again, like a lot of the time I just don't feel like digging through all the little tiny picture frames that are just like usually complete junk. And this was shoved all the way in the back. And the fact that I found it, I was like, like so excited. Um, it was $2.99 and yeah, love. So the, okay. Oh, the last big thing I found just randomly is this humongous 
1970s Albank, so it doesn't really fit like the jive of like the rest of our collection, but that's okay. Um, he's still pretty cute, obviously. Um, he's dated 1971, which is cool. Um, and he needed a bath, so I gave him a bath. But I think someone will definitely love him because he's very kitschy and cute and nice and big. So he was $2.99 also. All right. So the last few things I found from that Goodwill were um, jewelry, which is pretty cool because I don't usually pick up jewelry at Goodwill lately. I used to find stuff all the time, but lately it's been kind of junky. Um, so... I was pretty excited because I found jewelry at this Goodwill and then I found jewelry at another Goodwill. So I'll show you that as well. Um, so the first thing is this beautiful um, hand painted pin um, or brooch. I think it's um, maybe like Romanian um, or Bulgarian. I have to do a little, or maybe Hungarian, actually, now that I think about it. I have to do a little bit more research, but I just thought it was so pretty. I have a couple of these that I've thrifted from time to time. Um, I do see these at, at antique malls. They're not crazy expensive, but um, if you want to buy a whole bunch of them, then it would end up being pretty expensive. And what's really cool is the back, the little pin, is just like a old school, like, pin like that so got that um that definitely was an exciting find I thought it was so pretty I like to collect old brooches and put them on like pillows and then have the pillow as decor if that makes sense I also put brooches on my jean jacket and stuff but I don't really get to wear my jean jacket that much so I like to kind of have them out where I can see them then the other thing I found is this little owl necklace. So it's kind of hard to see. I don't know how to get it to like focus a little better, but he's very intricate and well done. And he's a little snowy owl, kind of like Hedwig. And I haven't looked it up yet, um, but it says Reed and Barton. So I don't know. He's not Sterling, but I just thought he was really, really cool. I don't know. I love owls, so I was excited to find that. So those were the things that I found at that Goodwill. Oh, and one more thing. Forgot like the giant thing that's sitting next to me. Um, then I found this giant old box. Um, so it says Upper Room Hymnals, and it's like this really pretty um, old wood, and I loved the like grommets on the side. And then look at the handles. Isn't that neat? It's probably like 60s or 70s would be my guess. Um, but I just thought it was really, really cool. Um, I'm going to just use it as storage. I'll probably put like books or something in here or maybe like paper for um, my printer. But anyway, I just thought it was really, really funny and cool. And I don't know. I don't know. I think this is one of those things where like you either kind of get it or you don't because it is kind of weird that it says upper room hymnals, but there's just something special about it that just kind of made me, I don't know, excited about it. So again, this will go up in our office and I'll just put like whatever I'm storing in there. Okay, um, we're doing pretty good. I only have a few more things. So luckily my Goodwill had 50% off. Um, the Goodwill that's like right next to my house had 50% off the other day. So I got some stuff. Um, I got two of these um, paint by numbers. So these are like egrets. It's not like the best paint by number you've ever seen um, as far as like quality but it's also not the worst so I got this one. Oh goodness and I got this one which are like swans I think yeah so I'll probably sell them as a set maybe I, I really don't know but they're really cool I wish they were dated but they're not um they were five dollars each so I paid $2.50 each, so I felt like that was a pretty good deal. 
And then I found a couple more paint by numbers. These guys, um, I don't know what I'm gonna do about these guys. I'll show you. Um, so they're a little dusty, so I need to kind of dust them off. They're really cool. Like I love the ships, but I hate that they painted the wood this like ugh, terrible purple pink, like ugh, yuck. So um, I'm probably gonna have to paint the frame before I sell it because I just don't think I'll get very much for it as is. So let me know down below what you what color you think I should paint it. I actually was kind of thinking about doing black, but I guess I could play it safe and do it white. I don't know. Um, let me know. So it also needs to be dusted because it's pretty dusty. So I got that guy. And I got this guy. So they are really neat and they are going to look really cool like once I have them all photographed. But they are pretty dusty, crusty, and What's funny is they have initials on them, but not the date. Like, come on, guys. Get with it. Get with it. Jace Lowe's. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Um, so, those were also $5 each. So, then they ended up being $2.50 each. Not bad. The last thing I picked up is this flower pot. Again, another random thing for me. I just thought it was cute. Um, I mostly liked these blue and orange flowers on the side I also I washed it but it's still kind of yucky but um I also liked the little blue like details around the front and the little sun is pretty cute too so I'll probably just throw a plant in this um and throw it out back the thing is I'm always looking for planters um when I find stuff like that at Goodwill I'm like oh I don't feel like buying it because one, I don't feel like lugging it home, and two, I don't feel like washing it, but I'm so glad that I did because it's actually really sweet, so I'll probably just put it outside and put a little plant in it, but I liked it. Um, okay, oh, and then the last few things I got is just a little bit more jewelry, so I believe, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it because I do think that it's real ivory looking at it, um, so it's antique, so like, you know. Obviously, I would never buy new ivory, but when you find it at Goodwill, there's just something kind of special about it. So the first thing um, are these earrings. So these are little roses, and these are studs. So these are a little bit newer, I would say. And then the other ones are clips. So the only thing I can think is maybe... Um, there's a lot of glue on the back of here, so the only thing I can think is maybe they pulled the clips off and added um, studs so that they're easier to wear. But these, I believe they're from the 40s. That would be my guess. Um, the clips look like that. The back. Um, the only reason why I know is because I actually found some I think I showed you a while ago at an estate sale and the box that they're in were labeled 1940 so that kind of just like helped me date them and then the other earrings I found um are like almost the same as these and what's funny is I lost one I I I don't know what I did with it so now I have um two sets so that's kind of cool um, but I'm not really sure what to do with them. But And then the last thing is this beautiful necklace. So um, there's no doubt about how beautiful it is to me. I just love it. But I don't think it's something I could sell just because I wouldn't feel right about it. Um, I would really have to think about it. I did do a good amount of research. And this they are for sale on Etsy. I think because they're so old that it's okay. Kind of like with certain taxidermy. Like... You could never taxidermy an owl. It's like super illegal. But if you find like a really old one, then it's okay. I don't know. Um, so I liked this because the other one I have is very short and definitely doesn't fit your girl because I'm chubby. Um, but this does fit me. So I might wear it. It's, um, I think the design is called like Chinese um, 
ball design, something like that. It is um, not worth a whole bunch. It's worth like online, I think the other one I saw was maybe like $36. So they're not like worth a crazy amount of money, which you would think they would be because it's ivory, but it, you know, whatever. Um, and then this is the little clasp. So the clasp also told me that it is real ivory along with obviously the beads and the fact that I found it along with the earrings. So very special. Um, something that I kind of just wanted to rescue from Goodwill and just not have end up in a landfill. I feel like, um, it's already made, you know, it's like if you're vegan and you, um, don't believe in leather, but something's already made from like a long time ago is a little different than buying something new that's from a new, a company that just made it. So to me, I feel like this had, like the damage is already done. It's a very, very old piece. So I might as well enjoy it and take care of it, um, and respect it instead of just letting it kind of go to waste. So, um, I am going to do just that. Um, and I just kind of had to have it. So I paid $8. Oh, and then I got a little pin. That's really cute. So I'll show you this. Um, my phone is really not wanting to, um, to, zoom at all which is very annoying but it's a little enamel hand painted rose and then in surrounding it are these vintage rhinestones and it's very small it looks like that and it's just really really charming and sweet so i got those things all for eight dollars so that was a really good deal um to get all of that stuff for eight dollars so i don't know i don't really know why it was so cheap but it was um Okay, I only have one more thing. All right, so the last thing I nabbed is this Doomy bag, actually. Um, okay, so this is really weird, and you tell me if you think this is weird. You know, giving you a little, like, weirdness for Halloween. So, um, this Goodwill that I found this bag at is a Goodwill boutique, and I have found tons, not tons, but like a lot of Dooney bags there. I haven't bought all of them because they're not all in great condition, but over the years, I've probably found like 20 at that store. Um, in the last year and a half, I have not found a single one at, their, at that location, not one. So I was walking in the store and I'm like, man, it's so weird that I never find good purses at this store anymore. Like they don't ever have any good purses that I almost don't even like look at the purse section anymore. And I literally walked past the purse section as I thought that and this was hanging there. Like how weird is that? That I, I mean, you know, it, it's probably all just coincidence, but I just thought it was really weird that I was like, huh, I haven't found a purse here in years. And then I found, find one. Weird. Um, so this is a pretty classic style. It does have the strap, which is very nice. Um, and it still has the like original Dooney um, tag in it. I do the, I do see this style for sale online a lot. And I find them, um, pretty regularly at another thrift store that I go to when I have time that's like pretty far away from me. It's like two hours south. But the problem is they're always scratched up and like absolutely completely abused. So I try really hard not to buy bags unless they're in pretty good shape because if I am going to resell it, which I probably will sell this guy um, or I'll sell another one I have so that I can enjoy this one for a little bit because I like novelty and having new things. But what I really liked about this is it was in pretty perfect condition. So really no scratches, like hardly any wear, um, just really, really in nice shape. It, they did have it priced accordingly, so I paid $15 for it, which is more than I would have liked to pay. But, you know, it's still really, really cute. Um, and I would say it's worth $15. I just... When, th when they start getting into like the $30 range, that's when I'm like, no, I can't do it. Um, I usually will go up to like 20 bucks for a Dooney um, just because I enjoy them and I like them. Even if it's only worth $60, so I'm only going to make like 
20 or you know 30, 40 I'm sorry 40 or 50 bucks off of it it's still worth it for me because I know that I'll I'll carry it around and enjoy it so um until I sell it so you know <laughs> all right guys so this was another super long video because apparently I just cannot stop talking and I apologize and thank you so much to everyone that subscribed we we hit 100 subscribers so that is awesome um you got to celebrate the little things, right? I hope everyone has a wonderful Halloween if I don't see you until then. And, um, you know, stay spooky, get some cool stuff, thrift a lot.